Hey guys, I'm here in Carillion Park. I don't actually know how to say that word. There's a big bell tower over there built in 1941 by the Kettering family uh, who turned this in. It was originally a, a, a park with a, a swimming pool for 5,000 people uh, built by National Cash Register, but then the Kettering family uh, created a park out of it. Uh, it's a historical museum. Behind me, you see a building from 1796. It's the first tavern in Dayton and built uh, the spring after the Treaty of Greenville and white settlers came into the area. It's been moved from downtown. Uh, they even moved a lock on the original uh, Erie and Ohio Canal built in the 1820s. They just moved the whole thing here. Back behind me is the actual museum. Um, it's built around the barn uh, that was moved here where Kettering and his uh, friends invented uh, the electronic ignition for the car and the cash register and a few other things. I think he invented the pressure gauge for an engine, uh, like an internal combustion engine. National Cash Register also created the uh, code breaking machines in, the, in, in World War II. And in this area was uh, the laboratories that uh, uh, refined polonium that was used in the Manhattan Project. Uh, the laboratories were kept here because the head scientists refused to move from Dayton. After the war, the first computer memory, the first RAM, was uh, made here. Barcode scanners, ATM machines, automated self-checkout machines, refrigerator, air conditioning, all of that was made here in Dayton. They're very proud of their history, and they have reason to be in the early uh, 1900s. Before 1950, uh, Dayton was the city with the most per capita patents of any in the United States. In 1915, I think they had over 20 uh, automobile factory companies, including maybe it's like 18, including the only car factory, car company ever to be owned by a black American, and I think a black person, period. Um, you know, they just moved all kinds of stuff here, reconstructed it. Uh, it it's really amazing. From the eight, uh, There's a school building back there built in 1812 that they moved. Um, it's really inspirational how much pride they take in, in, in their history, you know. Um, there's just there's rooms in there just full of cash registers, a huge prohibition display. Um, it's really something to see. A, uh, a building over yonder full of cars, street cars, buses, many of which were made here in Dayton. Uh, I'm going to go over yonder, uh, sit down, cool off, have something to eat. I'll holler at you later.